All right, y'all. I paused to go eat some lunch. Now I'm back. So let me see. Where do I start? I don't even know. I got so much good stuff, y'all. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so let me start with this baby because I'm sure in some of the videos that was in the background, I don't know what order I'm going to load them up so we should just see. Um, I don't know. How am I going to start with her? Because, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do the haul video so that I can get this stuff out the bag because I do want to go ahead and use um, some of it, like the hot curler and the, um, the comb and stuff. So, anywho, this is one of the things that I hauled. This haul is going to be... Uh, which one? How, how am I going to work this out? Let me get myself together, y'all, because I got a, a bunch of stuff going on over here. Okay. Um, let me get it together. Let me get it together. Yeah, so I'm not going to do her. <laughs> let me go ahead and get this one out the way because I know that you guys have been waiting on this one. Um, this is the Brenna bag from Dooney and Burke. This is the item that I chose to get in replacement of the drawstring bag. I love the drawstring bag, but it definitely is a little bit of a Tetris situation. And the day that I carried her, I did not even have Sky 9 in there. Um, and I still had to play Tetris. So Sky 9 and my planner are not going to fit. And speaking of that, y'all, the psychotics in the world, these, these, these mass shooters and just, God damn life just getting worse for us here in the u.s but anyway um i have decided that even though my planner is my everyday carry it's not going to be my everyday carry if that makes sense first of all i work from home i walk my planner downstairs to work <laughs> for real what i'm trying to say is i am feeling like it is I, okay so initially i wanted to carry my planner and let me just look her over real quick and make sure i don't see no issues where i need to return her a tiny little dent right there but I mean it's really like nothing um I have always wanted to carry my planner and then of course once I started packing I either wear it depending on what I'm wearing and most of my clothes I'm tall and slim I'm practically 5'9 currently 155 pounds I usually range anywhere from 150 to 160 depending on the time of the month how much junk I've been eating if I've been riding a bike in the house walking outside with hubby whatever anyway um, I am not changing my wardrobe for Sky 9. That's not what we're doing. If I can wear her comfortably and she's still concealed, then we wear her comfortably and she's still concealed. If she is not concealed, she's in my purse. So, nine times out of ten, she's in my purse because my wardrobe was built well before she came. So, anywho, I always have her with me and I typically always have my planner, especially since I'm a big bag girl. I'm usually always carrying a tote. And I can easily fit both of them in the tote. And since it's a shoulder carry, it's super comfortable for me. I'm used to the weight. It's no problem. But what I'm noticing with me branching out and wanting to carry these satchels is that shit is heavy, bro. Like carrying my planner and carrying um, Sky 9. Listen, honey, I don't know who weighed more. But between the two of them, listen, it's not working out, okay? And then, like I said, some of these cute little satchels that I want to carry. And I'm not going to change them for the bag. Like I want to wear them. Some of them, it's just, it's not a comfortable fit. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Putting the planner, um, this one would be mine. Putting the planner in this Brenna and putting Sky 9 in there is hella tight. It's a hella tight fit. It definitely can be done, but it's a hella tight fit. And I don't really like it. I really don't. And like I said, with, which loop? oh, here it is. I'm like, which part of the ring is it on? with you know i was already in my own zone you know i want to be safe i want my goodies i'm wearing my pepper spray i got my you know taser with me i'm just gonna put this in here just in case um you know i got sky nine in the bag like all that fun stuff i'm feeling like it's way more important to have my damn sky nine than it is to have my planner and i know that sounds crazy but it is what it is so like i said with this hand carry having both of them in there and i think it looks like a total different bag when it's closed looks like it has so much more personality than when it's open but i absolutely love it i did rock my um db75 one for a whole freaking week and a couple of days i just moved out of her to move into the juicy backpack the brand juicy is brand new to me i've owned a couple of earrings and that is it i've never had a bag i've never had a wallet i've never had an slg but this was 
Sorry, y'all. I was looking down at the bag and did not even catch that the damn battery is beeping. Oh, my goodness. I thought my second battery was fully charged, and the lower one from the other video I had on the charger. I don't know, y'all. I ain't filming in two weeks. I guess they just, they wasn't ready. Let me zoom back out a little bit. It seemed like it's in too far. So, I did carry her for a week and a half. Absolutely love her, but I, like I said, I did realize that even with the Brenna, as big as this interior section is, and being able to decrease pouches in that area and literally have a whole stuff, like a whole pouch or two worth of stuff in each side it's amazing but hand carrying this or arm carrying this with sky nine and my planner in there was definitely a tough call so i love the brenner i do not regret buying it at all this is the this what had happened was number six video <laughs> I'm gonna double check my count, but I think this is six. But this essentially is just an exchange. I just returned the drawstring bag and chose to get it in the Brenna because it is bigger, um, both width-wise as well as length-wise, so I can fit more stuff in it. But again, it is super heavy having both. And like I said, I work from home, so I really don't carry my planner a lot. Normally when I go out, run errands, and do stuff, I do always take my planner just cause. That's like my brain, and I love having it. I have my shopping list and money details and all of that in there. So I usually just take it with me. But like I was saying before my battery cut off in the way of the world, it is more important to me to comfortably have Sky 9 than to have my planner and Sky 9. So my planner will be staying home more often. Um, I just have like a tiny um, little book I can write in, which I did have my little shopping list of what I wanted to pick up. While me and mommy did girl shopping day, I have that in here, but essentially um, I'm not gonna carry my planner unless I'm in a large tote. If I'm in my Neverfull or Coach City tote or any of that kind of stuff, I am gonna have my planner and Sky 9, but if I'm in anything other than a tote or um, like a larger, larger bag, I'm not gonna have both because I, I, I like my stuff being able to move around and be comfortable and I don't have to super Tetris to get stuff in and out. So this was my carry and I'm gonna do um, a what's in my bag on her. But this was my carry yesterday. I had a cute purple palm on here cause I was wearing a purple shirt and purple shades and girl, I was decked out of purple, okay? But today I did carry this with my um, cute little pink palm on it and then I wore my cute little pink Michael Kors um, sandals just to go get my nails done. That's the only place I've been today is to my nail techs house. Um, um, she now has a salon in her house some some you know drama with the state i reported that old salon she was at because mm -mm, y'all not gonna do my friend like that y'all ain't here illegal as fuck i don't care about these other bitches but my friend that i've been seeing for like four years now mm -mm, mm -mm, we report in that shop so anywho she opened her own so i did carry that to the house today to get my toes done um and get my eyebrows done but anyway this video is about this baby so let me focus so this is the brenna this is the hydrangea print it's the cream color just like the drawstring bag that i have um Damn it, I'll be trying to get my life together. I did not bring, let me go get her SLGs just in case this is your first time seeing this one. Okay, I'm back. All right, so full screen, these are her SLGs. This is the little card case that I picked up to go with her. I also can use it with the blue background hydrangea drawstring bag that I have, which this is what it looks like, the blue hydrangea. This is my kind of catch-all pouch that I use in here to put all the main items that need to be in a pouch because, you know, this one is not full size um, like the normal ones you, most of us bag addicts use. But this one had the main things in it, and then I just took some of the other non-main things and essentially just put it in the side of the bag. I have not carried this one yet. Y'all just saw me take it out of plastic. But when I did carry the DB75 one, that's how I had things and then the final SLG of course is the I think it's called the continental wallet um, that does have the you know zip on the back now I really hate that this one the zipper is not braided just like um, it is on here I really wish that this is focused all the way playing games this little braided zipper I freaking love There we go love 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 that i really wish they did this on all the zippers on the full size or this is not really full it's full but it's not as full as a full full anyway this zipper is not braided it's just a standard straight piece of leather and i really wish that they had done that braided just like on the card case that would have been so damn sexy if both these zippers were braided but i do still love it they look absolutely amazing with it i love matching my stuff if you guys are new here i love matching my slgs um to my bags as many as i can get is definitely my thing so <laughs> i do usually try to buy slgs to go so i'm very happy with 
my purchase. I'm glad that I did decide to go ahead and send back the cream bag since I have not worn it yet and keep the blue one in the drawstring. I think the blue one is very sexy. It looks really good with jeans. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you're new here, you should. I posted a super cute pic of it and an empty bottle of Stella Rose wine that me and my friend Akila had just killed. We were at a planner meetup and we was having a good time. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoying the purchase. I love that I got both bags. I do really like this print on the Brenna. I love that I get to see more of it, especially the cream because I feel like, you know, this one I definitely can wear with more things and I really, really love that. So I'm happy to say that I love my purchase. This is the way I happened was <laughs> with my Dooney and Burke shopping spree. Um, I love the space. I will be putting Sky Nine in here comfortably um, and not necessarily worrying about my planner needing to go. And I think I'm going to browse my collection and see what other bags I have that aren't necessarily purses per se, but maybe something like a little smaller, maybe even like a makeup bag with handles like those clear ones they have, um, like in the Burlington Ross TJ Max, whatever like near the aisles where or in the aisle where like the beauty pouches is I think I'm gonna pick up one of those with the little handles and just kind of use that to hand carry my planner if I want to bring it but don't really want to have it like in my bag if that makes sense I don't know I'm still kind of figuring that out but anyway super super excited so I hope that you guys love the bag if you do and you haven't picked it up or you do not own a Brenna you definitely should I am all about the big asses and this bag has a huge a bow tie so she works very well to fit all of my goodies i just gotta stop being greedy and thinking that these size bags are the same as totes because they're not they're large but they're not totes so yes so this is all my gorgeous goodies to go with her i love her i will be carrying her i need to start doing like some y'all that change your bags two three times a week i normally just carry one the whole week um and don't really switch but i feel like i need to start doing it more often so i can enjoy all my stuff more often <laughs> Um, let me show the strap. It looks just like the handles. It's that same color leather. I don't know what the name of the color is. Y'all know I'm not always the greatest at colors and materials and all that stuff. That's not things that I always know. If I like it, I like it. But this is the strap. It is a long strap. And let me show you. I'm not going to need that paper. Got a little makeshift trash can over here. Um, on my DB75 one, you can see I have the strap just draped on the back. This is kind of how I do my coach robes as well. Um, it comes with a long strap like this. It's really long. It's actually three pieces. It's almost like the Speedy, how it comes in all three pieces, which my Speedy is still for sale if anybody's interested. I think people are just like me, not interested in spending those kind of coins on Louie anymore. It's like off the chain. I'm on a break. I'm so happy with that. I got my purple pastel um, collection, but yeah, I'm definitely on a break right now. But anyway, my Speedy is for sale. Um, there is a... Well, damn, did I ever film a video? I can't remember. I don't think I did. Anyway, she's posted on Macari. Miss Espy, 27. Um, so it comes with a long strap. You put it on the side of the bag. Let me move that one over. On the two D-ring hooks right here that are on the side, which I love. I can't stand when you're supposed to clip your bag, your strap to the handles on the two different places. Mm -mm. Ma'am, I'm not that skinny. I'm skinny and I'm not that skinny. So I don't like that. I like it always to be on the actual outside of the bag. So I really love that. So again, I would do just like the other one and take out that middle piece because all I need is the two. I don't really wear my bag shoulder carry where it's like hitting you on the hip that's not my thing um, I will do crossbody sometimes but definitely not with a bag this size so I just use the two straps and if I don't want to hand carry it or arm carry it then I at least have this I can put on my shoulder real quick and see the strap is not that long so put on my shoulder real quick like that and it usually hits me like see the butt is like right at the top of my hip and so that's usually how I wear mine if I need to throw it on real quick you know in the store so that's what I'll be doing with this strap as well is taking out that middle piece and just using just the two pieces. So, yep, yep, these are my two Brenna babies. Like I said, this video is mainly about me just showing the hydrangea print one that I did go ahead and replace from the um, drawstring bag in the same print to the Brenna. So, if you like it, pick it up. Um, what does she come out of? Do I not have it? Okay, so I'm not sure what I did with the tag, but I want to say um so i know it's not on the actual tag that comes on the bag but i want to say she was 169 and of course i had to pay a little more for her 
um, because one, I wasn't getting it the same like sale price. Like the day I bought the original bags, I got like the 15% off sale they were running. The day that I did the exchange, they weren't running any sales. And I didn't really do an exchange. I simply just sent that bag back and placed another order to get this. I don't know about y'all, but when you do online exchanges, that shit takes way too long. I don't know what they be processing, but ain't nobody got time for that. So in my head, if I got the money to have both paid for at one time, but one's going to be coming back, I just go ahead and place a new order. So that's what I did. I think Rakuten had like I don't know, 4% cash back or something real, real small. So I did do that to get a couple coins back. But I want to say this is $169. Um, whereas a drawstring bag, when I got it on sale, was $109. So definitely $60 is a major difference. Like, depending on what you're buying, you can get a whole nother bag with that. Um, but it was worth it. It was worth it. I did want this one. I do love it. And I'm super happy with my two Brenna babies. So thank y'all for watching. See you later. Bye.